Dave was on TV for years. I don't know if you guys know that. Dave was on a TV show with that fucking dude. I forget what his name is now. They were trying to do things with Dave. I started in comedy in 91. When I came to New York in 93, Dave was the golden fucking goose already. I still remember going to the Boston Comedy Club and seeing him, Felicia, Nick Turturro, Jay Moore, and going, wow. He, had, he was in that movie, Robin Hood, Men in Tights, <laughs> fucking great movie. You're not going to, he fucking walked away from $50 million because you're not going to tell me how to do my fucking job. And guess what, guys? I feel the exact same way. Nobody's ever going to tell me. And I've had a thousand arguments over this. One of the reasons why I've taken a breather from comedy like that I did, because I'm coming back, but I'm doing it my way. Not the way the agents wanted to, not the way the promoters wanted to, not the way the fucking comedy club, because they don't fucking know. We're the ones that are busting our fucking ass. So, yes, I'm very fucking happy they didn't take that fucking special down. Fuck you. Fuck you. And I go back to Andrew Dice Clay. I go back to 1990, 91, 92, 93 with Andrew Dice Clay. And the shit he went through. Let me tell you something. Do you think people went to fucking HBO and told him to take down the Hickey Dickery Doc fucking special? Do you think they went to like HBO and told him to take down the fucking live from Long Island with Joey Botafuco and the fucking... No. No. Because people weren't fucking concerned. We're getting too woke. We're getting a little bit too woke. Again, my apologies to the LGBTQ community. But you should handle this a little differently. Get the people that run GLAD or I don't know what the name of the organization. Schedule a meeting with Netflix. Don't go in there demanding to take the special off. Just explain to them what you've been trying to do online. Explaining that. Tell Dave what you think his actions were and how they affected the LGBTQ community. Sit them down. Explain that to Netflix. Like the, whatever, the thing that organization explained it to Tom Segura. Don't go online and call them out and all this shit. Schedule a meeting with Netflix. Sit them down and explain your beefs, your beefs to them. What is going on? How this does affect our community? I think, for me, I think he's giving you light. Like they say, no publicity is bad publicity. You know, I think that if you're on the road to a gender change, this is not going to fucking, you know. So I get it. I get the that in your world, the remarks were a little violent and whatnot, and people going to start beat. No, they're not. No, they're not. Listen, I'm a wild man. And like I said, I've, I've had experience with transgender people, people who have gone the operation, and I treat them the same. Do I make jokes? Yeah. You have to make jokes. So on the other side of this coin, I hate saying this, LGBTQ, you got to toughen up a little bit. You got to fucking toughen up a little bit. It's 2021. You're pioneers. What do you think happens to pioneers? They get hit in the head with fucking rocks until they prove their point, until they sell their belief, until they tell you why they're doing what they're doing. You got to toughen up a little bit. What do you think? The gay guys in the 60s and 70s were fucking demanding for you to take shit down? These were the fucking uh, young gay guys that were getting beat up in the 60s. Think about being gay in the 50s, 60s, and 70s, and you're offended over a fucking comedian's fucking words on a special. You need to toughen up, too. You need to toughen up, too. I know you made the commitment to change and to be stronger and whatever. Well, let's do it. You need to toughen up the fuck, too. If you're going to, listen, how do you think you're perceived right now? How do you think you're perceived when you walk into a, a job and you're in the transition and, you know, you, you're taking, you know, how are you perceived? Did you ever think about that? So, yes, this is an education for everybody. But the LGBTQ community needs to educate people and explain to us what's going on, why it's hurtful. Don't just for, take the special down. No. No. 
No, we're not fucking the NFL. No, we're not fucking uh, Al Davis that we're just going to sell somebody up to the fucking Sharks. No, let's do this. Let's try this. Let's speak to some of the African-American people that he's come in contact with, Gruden, before we let them go. See if they're fucking angry. But they've been getting coached by him for the last, since 2012. Without any knowledge of these fucking emails, does it make a difference? Does it fucking make a difference? So we have to toughen up a little bit in this fucking country. We have a lot of issues right now going on that we have to fucking worry about. Mental health. They just allowed, They just told cops in New York that if you see somebody shooting heroin on the street, it's fine. They're, don't, don't fucking fuck with them. They're trying to vaccinate your fucking kid. They're trying to make mandates for you to get on planes. For that you, They're trying to take away your fucking liberties. And you're worried about an African-American comedian making jokes? That's what you're fucking worried about right now? LGBT community? They are going for our fucking heads. They are going for our fucking heads. So I understand you being woke. I get it. I understand. We all have to do a little bit of awakening or as much as we could do. I've even woken up a little bit. I'm not, listen, that doesn't mean I'm not going to crack fucking jokes. Okay, I'm going to crack fucking jokes. But now I also have a knowledge of who I'm hurting with these jokes. That's the most important thing. But listen, if a joke hurts you, take a fucking, you know, what the fuck is wrong with you? What the fuck is wrong with us? Have we gotten this fucking soft in our fucking daily lives that everything fucking affects us? People are dying right now from stupid shit. People are fucking losing their jobs. School teachers, cops, you know, it's a whole new fucking world out there. But you want to create another fucking problem because a comedian said some fucking stupid shit about you. I don't I don't understand society anymore. And I'm trying to be woke. I'm you know, I have a little girl, I have a family, I have friends that have sons and daughters that are trying to, you know, uh change genders his he they it's too fucking much it's too fucking much altogether you know you got us on this fucking path of you know that we can't do nothing wrong and if we did something 20 years ago we should be punished tomorrow no and you guys know anything about me i didn't allow it fucking 18 months ago and i'm not gonna fucking allow it